you also have to die to who you think you were. If you want Superman, if you want to become mighty, if you want to become free and vast and eternal, well, you got to let go of the idea of who you used to be. Because you can't carry this little miserable needy thing that is always needy and is always afraid and, uh, and is controlling and wants to control this and control relationships and control everything and it's always me, 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 me. You gotta let this dude go. If you want the big prize. That's why I'm saying you have to sacrifice by paying attention. And it's not like you're not doing the work, you're doing the, the work. Because that's why you're here and I'm proud of you and I recognize it. Believe me, I recognize it because we've been together. Different times we've been together and you're here now, you showing up. That's why I'm showing up. I'm showing up because of you. You're the reason I show up. If it wasn't you, I wouldn't be here. Because I don't get motivated. I don't get motivated to teach. My teachings become very limited. I don't feel like putting events. I don't feel like putting anything. All these months I've been here, I don't feel like doing anything. I'm so lazy. But your love, and your dedication and your desire to become free brings me forward and makes me want to share. I don't know for how much longer, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be doing what I'm doing. This whole endeavor may end after this retreat to be honest with you, it may not go on anymore. It may go. But let's treat this as the last dance together, if we may, and not take it for granted, okay? And let's go for the truth. Dive into your own self in here and now. Bring your attention here, avoid and deny and decline whatever your mind is telling you, any stories, whatever is throwing at you, decline it. Even with whatever identity it brings and says, I am this person, I am this, I am that, ignore anything you're hearing in your head and dive into this presence of now, here. And give yourself a chance to discover the truth of who you are, to discover your own vastness of vast. Forget about the words vastness, emptiness. These are words. Dive into your own juice. And I promise you, my brothers, sisters, you will discover that you have a Buddha, a master, an awakened being, 
a realized being inside yourself right now. A fully enlightened master being in your own heart, your own guru, the real guru, your real spiritual teacher is within yourself, is here. It's nowhere else. That's what I discovered within myself. And I'm sharing it with you. You are who you are looking for. What you're looking for is nowhere else. It's here in your own heart. But you got to become present and quiet to recognize it. Because it's literally impossible to recognize it if you're busy in your mind chatter and you're busy in your story. You gotta go away from those things. You gotta dive in here, here. Dive into here. And the master shows herself to you. You take one step and the master will go the rest of it for you. You're not alone. You're not here on your own. You're not left out. Don't worry about it. You're not left out. You're not alone. It appears to be, you go to darkness. You go to these different periods that you feel it's really dark and you're left out and there's nobody there and there's no help. That's not true. You're always taken care of. The source, God, runs through everything. God, the creator, consciousness, whatever name you like to put into it, loves you. Loves you. And of course, we all have to go through our darkness. We all go through our stories, ups and downs and feeling abandoned feeling left out, feeling off the course, feeling not worthy or going into our addictions and whatever. But keep in mind, in the darkest moment of your life, the light, God, is always there. You are not doing this on your own. You're not alone. Reach out to your angels. Reach out to your guides. They're around you. They're helping you. You wouldn't be here and listening to me if you were on your own. You would be lost. You would be drawn, drowned in the ocean a long time ago. You're not far away from your goal, you're actually very close to the target. If you're here, if we're having this conversation and you're hearing what I'm saying, believe me, trust me, you're not far away. No matter how much inside you may feel like you're off, that is a part of your challenge. That's designed by Her Majesty, the Supreme God, 